What up, Les Bros and Les Bays? Kirchie here. Thank you for tuning in as always. Uh, today I want to talk to you about how to win at a breakup. Now you might say, Sarah, uh, there are no winners in breakups. You're both losers. And to which I say, no, you were the loser. That's why you don't know about the rules of breaking up. Now I'm really disappointed because I punched the shot in so tight you guys can't see how awesome my shirt is. So I'm gonna show it to you. It says if looks could kale. Get it? If you've ever gone through a breakup, or eight and counting, but who's counting, you would know that it sucks. Or it can suck, but it doesn't have to. There are a variety of tricks you can do to make it feel like you won in the breakup, even if you didn't. And since I'm essentially a breakup pro at this point, uh, I'm gonna share those tips with you guys because I love you and this is how we foster a positive community, right? Right. Number one, take all the stuff that you still have of theirs and burn it in a fire ritual um, that honors your past life and lives lived that are no longer your current life. And if they ever ask for it back, tell them that you already gave it back to them. Number two, block them on social. I'm talking everything social, everything. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, MySpace, Tinder, everything. Three, have a better life. I'm talking bottles, models, boats, trips, vacations. I'm talking a Dan Blazarian life. Just don't be an asshole like he is. Four, stop eating. Stop eating immediately. All food, everything. Uh, whoever's the skinniest by bikini season actually wins, and that's an unspoken rule. You're welcome. 5A, if you run into her, scenario one. Pretend like you don't know her. I'm not talking ignore her. I'm talking, maybe she's cute. Maybe you're checking her out. And if she comes up to you to say hi, introduce yourself. She'll laugh awkwardly, but keep it up. But then she'll be like, okay, you can stop playing now, but don't stop playing. Don't, just wait for her to walk away angry. If you run into her scenario too, grab the closest stranger and make out with him or her. Yeah, him or her. Doesn't matter, this has worked for me in the past. If you run into her scenario three, say something that could be misconstrued as an insult, like, wow, you look so different. Or, uh, God, I forgot that's how your voice sounded all the time. Eight, start a new relationship immediately. If possible, change your relationship status from in a relationship to single to back in a new relationship on the same day. Nine, post anonymous facts or lies about them online. I'm talking credit card numbers, address, number of sexual partners, that weird thing about their body. Do it all. 10, become a super famous rock star and write a song about her that everyone knows is about her, but never mention her name. It's worked every time for me. All right, well, I hope you've made it to this part of the video where I tell you that you should not follow any of that advice, none of it. Well, maybe number two, yeah. You can follow number two, but the rest of it don't follow. It'll make you a terrible person. And you're not a terrible person. You're a great person. And your ex is probably a pretty good person too. It's just hard to see that right now. I mean, actually, you might think she's the devil right now, but she's gotta have some redeeming qualities because you did love her. And you have to remember that. The true way to win in a breakup is be the bigger person. Give yourself time to heal, give yourself space from her, and do things that make you happy. If you run into her, be an adult. Sure, it hurts, but you don't have to be a dick about it. Act in a way that you'll feel proud of looking back on. That's it for me, <laughs> that's it. I'm done, done Zaroni. Let me know if you guys have any tips uh, for winning in a breakup in the comments. Uh, make sure you subscribe. I've noticed a lot of you guys watching aren't subscribed, not sure what's happening. Click that subscribe button, yo. See you guys next Thursday. One of 68, you go down and I'll owe you one. Your hand looks heavy. Can I hold it for you? Do you have a library card? Cause I'm checking you out. Oh, if you could be no. the other person for a day, what would you do? If I could be Sassy Bob for a day, oh, I don't know. I feel like I would just play with my boobs all day. <laughs> if 